Mina, come on, why? Jesus freaking gamer here. Back with more Psalms. We're going into Psalm 85 today. We're going to start at verse 1. Lord, you have been favorable to your land. You have brought back the captivity of Jacob. You have forgiven the iniquity of your people. You have covered all their sin. Selah. You have taken away all your wrath. You have turned from the fierceness of your anger. What amazing verses those are. If there is any kind of good news in the world that I want to hear, it's that God's being favorable to me, His anger's been turned from me, His wrath is not being poured on me, He's blessing my land. Those are wonderful, wonderful, wonderful things to hear. I love these verses. That is like one of the most positive beginnings to any psalm that I've read. And the psalm itself in general is a rather pleasant read. It does mention immediately afterwards for asking for God to save them. Please don't let your anger stay on us. Please show us your salvation. And then it goes on to talk about the blessings of God in the land. By all means, read it. It's not too long a psalm, and it's like pretty much all the Bible. Very well worth your time. I just love the opening. It's just this incredibly peaceful, wonderful thing. And what I want to do today is extend a hand to those of you who may think that God is angry at you, that His wrath is being poured out you poured out on you, that your sins are not forgiven. And if you're not a Christian, those statements would be true. Because of your sinfulness, His wrath is being poured out on you and will be poured out on you. He is angry at you. Your sins are not covered or forgiven. Now, the good news to that is that you can right now, this very instant, accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and everything that I just read, all those good promises, all those wonderful things can be applied to you right now. God does not want to be angry at you. He wants to forgive you of your sin. He wants to turn away from His wrath. That's why Jesus Christ came about 2,000 years ago, died on the cross, and rose again from the dead to wipe away all of your sin debt and to make you clean and pure before God no wrath, no anger, just forgiveness and love. So if you want to, please feel free to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior right now. Don't think about how horribly you've been living your life, how terribly you failed God, how you know He called you in the past and you ignored that call. All those things can be put behind you, and you can obtain absolute and total forgiveness right now. All you need to do is ask Him for it. Just t say, Jesus, I admit I'm a sinner. Please forgive me. Right now, I believe you died on the cross. I believe you rose again, and I want you in my life as my master, my God, and my Savior. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And if you prayed that prayer, you are saved. All those sins are forgiven. Wrath and anger are gone, and you are now a part of the family of God, and it is good to have you. I usually do the 30-minute message on Sundays. I've been kind of falling behind on that the last several weeks. I apologize for that. I'll try to catch up on those. But I read this psalm and I was like, you know what? This is a really good opportunity to tell a lot of people that, hey, they can be Christians right now. God doesn't have to be angry at them anymore. His wrath doesn't need to be poured out on them anymore. And some of you guys know that that's what you're living in right now. And I'm here to tell you, you don't need to live in that anymore. Just pray that prayer I mentioned earlier, mean it from your heart, and boom, you're good. And you're good for all eternity. So hopefully this ministered to a few of you guys. If it did, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what God's doing in your life. I'd love to hear if uh, this message reached some people and helped some people out. So thank you very much for watching this video. I love you, and God bless.